very good game that first win. Can you talk about how difficult it was going against the seven six guy? Uh, I said before, there's no way you can really practice for a seven six guy. So <clears throat> my whole cue was to just come out aggressive and you know play play to my strengths. And I think uh, my versatility kind of bothered him. They had to sub him out a few times, but a lot of respect to him. He's he's good, and to be so young, I think he'll he'll definitely be a force to be reckoned with. Talk about the support you guys still get despite not making that other tournament. Uh, I didn't expect the crowd that we got. I mean, I knew we'd have some loyal uh, followers come out and watch us, but there was a lot more people than we expected as a team, and we really appreciate that. It means a lot to us. After getting that first win out of the way, is it a different kind of tournament for you now that you're kind of just going after the wins instead of kind of working on the motivation of being underdog? Yeah. Um, I mean, we dropped three in a row to end the season, and uh, just it, it felt good to get back on track. So now we're just taking it one game at a time. Uh, today we're going to work on LSU stuff and, you know, get better for that game. What do you know about this team you're playing LSU? Uh, we'll watch the film on them today. We don't know much right now. Was there anything in particular you thought you guys did better in that first game than the, the last three in the regular season? Um, we stayed poised. When uh, when we went up on Ellis on uh, excuse me Louisville, they they weren't rattled. We were up, I think 16 early in the game, and they they didn't seem affected by it. And that was really impressive to me. I think throughout the season, in close games, we we're not comfortable. And uh, at halftime, it was tight, but we stayed composed and you know did what we had to do to win. Is there a different kind of motivation by not getting the invitation to the the other tournament? Yeah. Um, after we won at UConn, we all thought we were locked to be in there. And then we came home and got another win against UCF. We knew for sure we were in there. And then to sit in that room and watch that show, that was, oh, that was torture. Watching every team go up there except us. And uh, so, yeah, we, we want to prove something. Having said that, you guys playing with a little chip on your shoulder, like you're saying, you feel like you want to prove yourself, don't you? Yeah, but uh, I think to do that, we have to win the whole thing. You know, winning these first three games at home and then going to Madison Square Garden and losing doesn't, doesn't prove anything to anybody. So that's our ultimate goal is to win that trophy. Against Irvine the other night, you guys cut their shooting percentage in half in the second half. Was that a matter of they went a little bit cold or did you guys make a defensive adjustment that maybe you can carry over against LSU? I don't think we adjusted. We, uh, we just locked in. At the beginning of the game, they came out and seemed like they were making everything. So... But like I said, we stayed we stayed composed and you know got the job done. How much of an adjustment has it been for you this year, just in terms of numbers? You're playing the same, playing very well, but obviously you're not getting as many minutes. How much of an adjustment is that? Um, it's a big adjustment. Uh, last year I had to play a lot of minutes, probably too many minutes, um, and it kind of took a toll on my body. Uh, this year, you know, we got we got five guys in the post that can all come in and produce. So it's it's a good thing that I'm not playing so much.